everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Omni Factory. All right, so here we are today, episode 109. So last episode, we were working on a few things. We were working on the assembly line. We were working on the Draconic Infusion, some Pia Race, some Pia Race stuff. And uh, I think the last time I finished, I was requesting some injectors for the uh, room here. And you can see that I have everything upgraded to Wyvern, both here and over here. So we got 16 possible setups for our items to come through. And I kind of put these faces off center. I might adjust it so that these are moved over one and then make it more uniform that way. We'll see how much it bugs me. Uh, this side is still undone, but uh, we'll get to that uh, side of things later on. I uh, did some maintenance as well between episodes. Uh, oh, I made this spawner right here. It's for bats or bat souls. It will craft until we have 256 in our system. So the bat spawner basically, the way this works actually is it's a bat, it's a mob spawner and you can put souls inside that will be filled with a soul, right? It's on capture mode right now. And let's see what else. I know I added some peer ray machines. I added this bad boy over here. This is going to make a uh, phyto grow and phyto grow is going to be used to make this stuff right here, the flux phyto grow, which we'll be using to multiply our chorus flower production. We're going to need this, of course, for uh, infusion and other such recipes coming up. And uh, that's old. That's the chicken farm. Oh, I added this energetic, energetic infuser here. Uh, this is going to be used for the phyto grow. I just wanted to get this prepped. This is basically just like a, an item charger, essentially. Okay, and I think that's it for those rooms. Over here, I have a machine that's processing appetite. Whenever I need... Uh, oh god, what was it? Whenever I need phosphoric acid, this is going to send appetite and process it. That being said, I've also set it up where I could buy appetite, send it through our system, and then this will have some fuel to burn through. And this... Old machine. Uh, I think it's over on this side, possibly. Okay, here we are. Oh, no, that's not it. Maybe it's above me. I forget where all my uh, PRAs are sometimes. It's not on that side. Oh, I think it's over here. Yeah, here we go. So I made a sulfuric acid PA system here that's going to process until we have 16,000 buckets of the acid, right? That's going to process... A takes in water, of course. And if I can get down here, it takes in sulfur, right? And sulfur is, of course, gotten from DML. And we have quite a bit of sulfur. I mean, it's it's backlogged right now anyway, so it's not going to do much. But, you know, that's there for the future. Okay, so... I know there was something I needed to get into regarding the ultimate extended crafting table. But at the same time, we need to get into the Mark III reactor, the that eventually, the large microverse, because we're going to need to send off tier 7s. Let's see, what was this? Americium. Oh, the generator. I didn't get that automated. Because, oh, right, I needed the awakened draconium block. Okay. And to get the awakened draconium... I need more dragon hearts, which means I need the tier 7 microminer. Right. Okay. Guess we need to get into making the tier 7. Well, first we need to get into the microverse, so let's get that going. So, large micro. 
Oh, and this is where we're going to be making four of these babies. Remember, we have that room downstairs. So that is going to be something. Okay. There we go. Let's go and request uh, four of these. Okay, so for the large microverse, we're going to need, oh boy, 248. 248 times four, 992 diamond blocks. Wait, can I just do this? Let me get rid of some stuff here. Let me do this. I'm going to go to my microverse room. Okay. Oh, good. I have a crate here. Um, but that crate is... Has cobble on it. So let me get a fresh crate. Okay. So diamond. Still getting all our diamond blocks. So what I'll do is once I... Well, what I'll do is I'll get all the items for four microverses. And then we'll come back and we'll do some building with the effortless effortless building array. Okay, back in a few. Well, first let me go over the, uh, okay, nothing crazy here. We're just going to need input buses, vents, 27 of these. Okay, so yeah, not too terrible. I will be back shortly. Okay, real quick, I wanted to come back for a quick moment to show you something incredibly amazing. So here I'm in the ch uh, here I'm in the chisel screen, right? And if I click one of these blocks and I change it, say the regular diamond, if I hold shift and come over here, there's a button. Oh my god, I wish I'd found out about this <laughs> way earlier. That is amazing. Okay, so. I'm just going to put these diamond blocks away. Going to grab these other diamond blocks because I didn't have enough room, right? Click that. Click that. Amazing. All right, back in a bit again. Okay, everybody, we are back. So I've got all the stuff here. I just need to grab the microverse blocks. I think it's shot there. Okay. Okay. Let's move some stuff out of our chest, our inventory. We'll grab some of these. See how many? We're going to need about two stat. Wait. Oh, we need, uh, about how many is that? 248 times two. About 496. About seven and a half stacks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Get some of this, get some of that. Let's get rid of all these items here. We'll get them momentarily when we need them. Okay. Get rid of that. And we'll grab some more microversium just in case. Okay, so we should have everything we need. So I want to check something here. Uh, did I miscalculate how this is supposed to go? Okay, no, let's see here. I need to move this over. Move it over one and forward two. Okay. Over one. Forward two. I think. Yeah, that seems accurate. Looks about right. Okay. So... One, two, three, four, five. Wait. One, two, three, four. Wait. One, two, three, four. Okay. So over here, third up. One, two, three, four. I don't think that's right. Okay, one over. Okay, that should be right. Okay, looks good to me. 
Okay. Can I get that hidden? So now, if I wanted to do effortless building though, let's see, it's one, two, three, four, five, wait. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Okay, so it's where's the uh, drugs in here? Okay, so it's positive fourteen. Oh, I think in the x direction. Uh, no, not 14, 13. Do that again. Yeah, okay, that works. Okay, so we're gonna want our input bus. Nice, okay, that looks good. And then on this side of the machine, we put our energy hatch of the UV variety. Okay. And then from here, we can just place our casings as we need them. Can I get this though? That only shows the active layer. Okay, I think that's doing it. Let me get rid of that. Okay, yeah, that seems to be working. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah, now it's okay. Now it's doing this. Right. So, oh, wait, it doesn't show me what block I need. Okay. I don't know if there's a way to make it so it auto updates. But either way, this is uh, pretty neat. Like so. Okay. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's the first level. Well, the first two levels, anyway. Now, I could try to do the diamond method like this. Nice. I think everything's good otherwise. Yeah, so I mean that works in the end. Maybe I can do like that. And then over here. That way, I can just plant the casings across the way here. Oh, that was bad. <clears throat> All right, good, that, that copied. All right, so uh, I'm gonna finish off these two and uh, I'll be back in a bit. Hey, we're back everybody. So I got the two built up here and you'll see that they are completely built, completely formed, nothing crazy about it. And I have it set up now with the input buses and the output buses on the same side. Um, before, on the live version of this pack, these machines are not allowing custom placement of the input and the output buses, as well as the energy hatches. Those have to be done in a certain manner. But here on dev, like I said before, because we have the Greg Tech fix, we can do pretty much anywhere for the most part, wherever a casing is, at least. Right, so these are all built. 
the energy input is on the back side here. And honestly, I could probably move it up front. You know what? Let's do that. Let's put it, I don't know, here. Yeah, that works. And over here, we'll, put this, we'll just put this one down. Circle back around. Get rid of that. And there we go. Okay, so that's much easier. It's all centralized and good to go. Now, I'll be building more in this room. I'll have to be, build the underground, right? Because I need to have packagers. Well, I guess we don't really need packagers for this setup. I've been told that we can just have multiple interfaces attached to the input buses and go from there. Um, and, but... Hold on, let me check something. Tier... One, two, two, four, six, eight. Uh, I don't th think there are going to be. Okay, I think the most item stacks that will go into a micro miner at one time will be eight. So the input bus here is fine. The output bus being this big should be good. That's 16. Yeah, okay. So that should be good then. Um,. Yeah, that, that was, uh, completed that quest. So, Draconic Confusion Injectors. Oh. Wait. Oh, okay. I need to send off... Nothing? No, wait. I need Dragon Eggs, right? I need at least six... No. Eight times ten. Eighty. I need at least 160 dragon eggs. Oh, right. The tier six. So you can send the tier six off for that. In fact, do we have any tier sixes? Um How many eggs are we gonna oh. How many eggs will we get from this again? So that would be thirty-two times five. That's the one sixty. And what did I say? I needed 80 times 2. Okay, that should be enough, actually. Oh, but wait. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, we have plenty of eggs. Right, okay, so... Draconic... Injector. Oh, okay, this is doable, then. We can do this now, actually. Okay, um... Yeah, so we're gonna need to get the Wyvern... The draconic injectors, anyway. So let ah forgot to go grab uh, forgot to go grab the other stuff in my crate here. Let me put this away for the next building of the micro miners. We grab all our stuff back here. Okay, so we got our yetter wrench back. So what I'm gonna do. Because I can't... I need Wyvern Injectors. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, so what I'm going to do then is I'm going to tear this up temporarily. Okay. And I need to turn off all of these insertions so that I can go and grab the injectors and turn them into draconic. Okay. That should be good. Right, so I'm going to need to grab all of these wyverns. So alt, option, array. That's going to be seven. That's going to be zero. Two. I think that, I think that's good. Yeah, okay. So, yeah, this is going to be a bit of annoyance, but I'm going to be grabbing all of our injectors here. And then I'm going to send them through our infusion setup, once I set the pattern up, of course, to make the draconic 
and then I'll have to do the same concept for the other side where I break down all the injectors, set them all up again, and set them to single use active only once again. Bit of a bother, but you know, it's whatever. Okay, so there's that last break here. There we go, that's all of them. Okay, so before I go and do that, I need to set up the pattern for the awakened draconium, or the awakened injectors. So I'll grab a cobblestone block, like always. Grab the... Oh, it's in here. So put that in there, load. Uh, draconic. I'm surprised this doesn't need any awakened draconium, considering the nature of the item. But, uh, yeah. So, like before, I need to... Processing... Save, load... There we go. Okay, so I had to make sure that this was here first. That has to go into the, the core first, remember, because it is a source item. And now these are all ordered properly. So if I... Now... A cobble... Draconic injector package. Grab that. And boom. Save. Okay, so if I put these back away. That. And uh, delete that pattern. Draconic. And voila. Okay. So that will go on this side. Oops. Okay. Right, so I should be able to request 80 of these. Whoa, whoa. Okay, I guess the big thing that we're going to need is more lava crystals. So let me go and set that up. Um, I got to remember... Is my... Oh, there we go. Uh, let's see, is this... No. What, where? It's not on this side, I don't think. Ah, here we go. So let's bump this up to 32,000. And that should start making us... More of those, albeit kind of slow. In the meantime, um, I'll just request these in batches, maybe then. What? Dude, there we go. I was like, I thought I put that back on. Oh, wrong, wrong room. There we go. Oh, looks like it's already. Going? Question mark? Oh. Okay, so I might have to make some sort of extra utilities crafting for these items. Bazals. Or I can make a P array this right because that would probably be easier but the dust that would be in a crafting table like setup like um can i quickly show it where are we in episode 24 minutes okay got some time left so like i was saying i might have to do a table setup over here where it does like this, pa this pattern, and it does it for each of the the dusts here. Whereas I have a PA system that breaks down the. Um... Why do I have these? Oh. Oh no. Shit. Um. Emeratic.
I think that was what I picked up there. Uh, like I was saying, I'll have a uh, a PA system that's that will set that will be auto crafting, or that will have a pattern in it to craft the dust or the powder, and then have a actually additions table as the dust maker. I think that would be more efficient. So I think right now, right now I think it's just an emacerator recipe. Actually, let's check. Yeah, it's in a single IV dust maker there. So, it might be beneficial to make a big boy pulverizer PA. Let's see, pulverizer. Pulverizer. That shouldn't be too bad. Do we have the diamond grinding head? Yeah, we did. Okay. So we'll go with these. Okay, and we need... I guess we'll go with eight of these. Okay. So that will craft up, and I'll get that set up off screen. Of, uh... Yeah, we're getting up there now. We've got one injector, so I'll take that. Hell yeah. Okay. Complete. We got a whole dollar for that. Pretty nice. So the tier 7 micro miner. This is going to be a whole thing. Looks pretty simple on the outside. Yeah, this is whatever. That's whatever. Still got to do this recipe. But then you have the warp engines. Right, and I kind of forgotten that I need, I wanted to address this earlier, but we're, we're here now, so let's get into talking about this. So that, not too terrible, right? Magnet, no big deal. However, the magnet requires a dislocator, and that requires a chorus flower. So before we can get the tier 7 microminer, we need to get the phyto insulator automation set up, right? And then we have the dark solarium thrusters. These require a flight control unit as well as something called dark solarium, right? And these require bat souls, right? That's why I was making bat souls for this item specifically. The, these are not too hard, but they still require more dark solarium. Now, dark solarium, it's a matter of tritium, solarium, and dark steel. And that's going to be a big boy blast furnace there. Tritium, oh, what? how fortunate, deuterium? Oh, yes, please. We have so much from the moon. Oh my God, I can't believe I was so poo-poo on the moon before. Deuterium is gonna be so easy to get. And we can just PA ray this into tritium at a one to four ratio or four to one ratio. Yeah, so we have to get to tritium, we have to get into dark solarium automation. Uh, that is more infusion, egg, pearl, all that. We need to get more of that set up. But yeah, that's about it for the most part. This is no big... Oh, this is why I wanted the ultimate crafting table was for this nonsense. A lot of those stars, diamond, diamond latisse, which more diamond, big surprise. Exquisite diamonds, which reminds me we're probably going to need to send off more tier ones. Uh, it might be beneficial to go for the tier three just because we'll get more stuff here. What I could do is, well, I, I'm on the fence if I want to auto stock the packages or just request them on demand. What I mean is, I would set up a, a packager unpackager combo where we would get, you know, we would send in this and then we'd get back like 32 emeralds, exquisite emerald uh, items, or even. Oh, you know, we could do 64 rubies, I think. But we'll see. But uh, how bad would it be to request up like 64 or 32 of these, for example? Uh, the only thing holding us back looks like quartzite. 
quartzite. Might be beneficial to either automate, either buy a quartzite or send off a mission for it. You know, that would probably be a good idea because A, we're getting more diamonds and B, we're getting quartzite. So, tier one. What's holding us back this time? Quartzite. Uh, you know what? I think that reminds me. I need to see... Pretty sure I have a system somewhere that's processing quartzite dust. Um, if I do uses on this... It's the electrolyzer. Okay. So I'm going to need to find an electrolyzer that might be processing quartzite for us. Because I need to kill that. I found it. So I'm going to kill this so I won't set in quartzite. I'm going to get some quartzite processed up. And... Oops. Probably get some uh, micro miners sent off. So we can get some more quartzite. For practically nothing. Well... I say practically nothing, but then again, bounties are dirt cheap now, given I have every, every item automated, but the bounty itself is not automated. That being said, we are over time, so I need to call it quits here. I hope you all did enjoy. I will see you all next time. Ta-ta for now.